welcome to today's yoga break. I'm Ashley and today we're doing something a little bit different. Today we're going to be taking a few minutes to look at some poses we can do in chair yoga and I think a lot of times we think of chair yoga and maybe we think of um, elderly people and in their practice doing it but it's not just for older people. Chair yoga can be used for anyone and some reasons I personally have used it um, are when I just wake up in the morning and I'm not necessarily using a chair there. I am on the side of my bed. Um, if I'm not feeling well, but I know my body needs to move in a mindful and healthy way, um, or if I'm traveling, um, just sitting in a passenger seat, not when I'm driving, of course, that would not be good. So please don't do yoga and drive. Um, but those are just some examples. And another one, which doesn't pertain to me so much, but I know a lot of you, if you are working all day and sitting in a desk at work, um, you know, or driving a lot, this could just be something, you know, when you have a break in your day and you can get some movement in, these are some things that you can do, okay? So whatever brings you to your chair today, it's totally fine and it's okay and it's great uh, because some days are just like that and some days we're just sitting, okay? So, um, this is also one last thing on that. If you have an injury that prevents you from getting on the ground, this is a great alternative to a traditional practice. You're not going to do more strenuous poses in your chair um, probably, but there are so many modifications to traditional poses that you can do simply by sitting. Okay, so let's get started. So in your chair, I mean, ideally you wanna be able to touch your feet on the ground. So if you're in, a great big chair and for some reason in my mind right now I'm thinking of like a little kid and just like a huge chair but you get the point so you can see here I'm seated comfortably my feet can touch um, my hips are all the way back in the seat so this is a comfortable chair for me to work in some of these poses but we're gonna start like we start any practice with some mindful breath just to connect to the moment um, if you're in the office and you want to do any of this, I mean, you don't have to make a big production about your breathing. You can just sit there, look at the calendar on your wall, take a couple breaths, just let yourself know, hey, I'm about to do something that feels good and relax for a couple seconds. Um, so just kind of signals that it's about to start. Okay, so just a couple deep breaths here. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Slowly exhale. One last time, inhale, and exhale. And sometimes those breaths are the only yoga you need to help kind of fix how your day's going or how you're feeling. But we're gonna move on a little bit farther than that. So we're gonna inhale up this time, reach up, just like we would in standing mountain pose here. Interlace your fingers and press up. So same upper body movement as when we're standing a mountain, but we're in a seated mountain. Maybe a little slow. <laughs> okay. Inhale, lift, exhale, come slowly down to your right side here, opening up that left side. You should feel it all through here. If you feel like you're twisting forward, really work to open everything up, pulling that shoulder over your left ear. Gazing up towards that left side if that helps. And back to center here, inhale, push up, exhale reaching towards that left side. And again, if you feel yourself starting to roll forward, open up, shift your gaze if you need to, looking underneath that right armpit. And back to center. Nice job, release down. Add a few shoulder rolls here. Moving back, I hear some crunches in mine. And then rolling forward really moving everything around. We're gonna to try to wake as much as, as we can up in the next few minutes, right? And then, depending on what your chair is like, you're gonna interlace your fingers behind you. So my chair is designed, oh, shift here. So I can easily reach behind and lift my arms without any issue. But if you are in a big bulky chair, if you're on a couch or um, or recline or something like that, you may need to reposition how you're sitting or scoot to the edge, you know, whatever it is. Or on some chairs, maybe you can just sit to the side. But interlace your fingers and let's really work on opening up our chest here. If you're sitting at a computer all day, you probably feel aches throughout your upper body just from cr 
crunching over. A lot of us don't have the best posture, so this is really gonna help that. Inhale, and then exhale, try to fold forward just a little bit. We're gonna hold for a couple breaths. So with every exhale, just see how much farther you can fold forward, how much more comfortable you get to open up. Just whatever feels comfortable for you. And if you're still sitting straight up and you have barely lifted, that's totally okay too. It's not a contest. You're just listening to what your body needs and what your body needs and my body's totally different. And release, arms come around, almost like you're giving yourself a great big hug here. Add a little twist. Okay, and then I'm gonna sit, let me rearrange my chair here. Hands on your knees, I want you to inhale, pull your chest through, exhale, push your, your spine back into a nice rounded position, inhale, pull through, maybe drop your head back if that feels good, exhale, nice and round. <clears throat> Excuse me, do that a couple more times on your own. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And if you've been sitting for a while, your spine is probably thanking you right now. Okay, and then coming back to a nice neutral position, we're going to work on our hips. Taking your right leg, I want you to pick your left um, foot up. And you're placing it somewhere um, on your left leg. So at the knee, a little bit farther back, if that feels good. Um, if this is a struggle, you know, maybe you're modifying and just lifting it to your shin and then you're working towards getting it up over the knee, that is totally fine. And again, if you have the block, you can put it in front of that left foot. Um, and just work from there until you can get it up here. So if you've never done this before and you have some tightness throughout your hips, then that could be something to help um, and work on. Okay, so gently pushing down with your right hand on your right knee, and you're just gonna start to fold forward. And then back up. Okay, and then maybe adjust um, where your foot is and see if that makes a difference. So try pulling it closer or farther away. Try pointing your toe or flexing your hip and just see what it, or flexing your hip, your foot, and just see what kind of difference you feel throughout your hip region. And if you need to continue to open up your chest, you can interlace your fingers, bending forward, or just let your arms reach the ground and slowly come up and release. So we're gonna do left side. Again, find where you're comfortable with that foot and you might notice one side is a little tighter. Gently push down on that left knee, fold forward. slowly come up nice job and release that foot so if you feel a little sore right now shake your legs out if you need to all right so we are going to do um, just a couple more variations of our forward folds so inhale reach up exhale fold down just keeping your feet together or if they're slightly apart it's not a big deal right and work hard to keep those hips back we're gonna keep that left hand down. And if you can't make it all the way down to the ground here, that's totally fine. If this is where you're feeling, if you have a, like you need to stop, then stop here. But you wanna you want reach that left hand down. Maybe you reach your left hand to the outside of that right foot, and then open up on that right side. And if just opening your torso like this is enough and keeping your right hand on your right knee, that's totally fine. But if you want a little extra, you can open up here or even drop your hand back behind you, bending your elbow. 
and placing that hand by your left hip. And release, right hand up, and switch sides here. Right hand comes to the outside of the left foot. Open up that left hand. Maybe reach back towards that right hip with that left hand, if that feels good today. And slowly release. All right, widening your feet a little bit here, which if you're in the office, might be a little awkward for someone to walk by you and see you doing this, but that doesn't matter. You're going to feel good in your hips and they are not, right? So for me in this chair, I kind of need to come up to the edge of my seat here. But I'm nice and wide, almost in a goddess-like um, stance here with my feet. They're, my toes are slightly turned out. I'm gonna take my left hand, reach it towards my right, and just open. And reverse on the other side. Nice job. Reach your right hand towards the outside of that left leg, or just straight down the spine. Keeping your hips in the chair. And then walk your hands around, feeling all that good movement. Hips stay back to your right foot. And then back to center. Slowly roll your spine up. Scoot your feet back to the middle. We're going to do one more here. Both hands grabbing a hold of that right foot. You can either shoot that foot out right in front of you if you have this in your practice and then start to lift. Or if you have a lot of tightness back here and that's just not going to happen today, totally fine. Just find your comfort level. Okay, you don't want to be in pain. If your knee's bent, let it bend. Breathe. And slowly release. Left side. That's one. Breathe. I'm really feeling it on the backs of your left leg right now. And slowly release down. Okay? All right. That's it. We're going to take a couple of closing deep breaths. You can cycle through some of those again or just really experiment with moving in general in your chair. Um, you can also use your chair as a prop for balance in some standing poses. Um, if you're just not comfortable, like say Warrior Three, or even um, a lunge where you feel like you might be close to toppling, uh, having that chair with support is really great to help build your strength and work on that balance, okay? So let's close with a couple deep breaths. Inhale, exhale, inhale one more time, and exhale. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Be sure you subscribe so you get notified every time there's a new video. Awesome job, have a great day. Namaste.